Alrighty, it's Perdix and today we're going to have a look at the public vote. If you're not sure what that is, then I really recommend that you watch this video first as it goes over the basics of what this project is all about. For the rest of you, well, this project can be split into five sections. One, getting vote data from Parliament. Two, getting vote data from the public. Three, getting demographic data from the Office for National Statistics. Four, adjusting vote weight according to this demographic data. And five, presenting the results in a way that can be understood intuitively. For one, there's this great resource called data.parliament.uk which provides a wealth of information regarding parliamentary process and MPs, all accessed via an API. However, this doesn't include MP voting history yet, although there are plans to include this soon. Instead, I'm going to need to write a crawler that goes through publications.parliament.uk and collect the data myself. For point two, I'll create a website that presents various parliamentary bills for visitors to vote on, with the three options of I, No and Abstain, after collecting some basic demographic data of course. For point three, the ONS have their own API, which I should be able to play with to get the information that I need. For point four, I just use the demographic data collected during the voting process, combine that with whatever I can glean from the ONS API, and with that information, determine which proportion of the population each vote represents, and then just adjust the weight accordingly. And for point five, I'll be making full use of HTML5's canvas element to draw graphs that can be updated when the data is. As a bonus mission, it might also be pretty cool to apply that same demographic analysis to our MPs, just to see how well each demographic is represented in our parliament. And because I like to do things strangely, I'm going to do it in this order. Don't question it, that's just the way I roll. So, I'll be doing this during the development live stream tomorrow. I'm thinking of changing the time to 1800 GMT, so leave me a comment down below if that's better or worse for you. Right, I better start getting on with this, huh? If you think this is a neat idea, then hit the subscribe button below, or head over to Patreon, drop me a dollar or two, and I'll love you forever. If you're stopping by the stream, then I'll catch you tomorrow. Otherwise, I'll see you on Thursday for the next day, month, year. Until then, peeps, be good, be sound, be safe. Perdix.